Roll six. Fit up six. TBC on six, please. Oh, that's lovely. Roll D. Zav. What? Zav and Q him. Hello, everyone. I'm Carol Silva. Roll A. Ready effects. Take it. Breaks his silence and tells Roll B. No one knows what went on between him and his murdered wife. Wife. Nassau County Sheriff Joseph Santa Croce calls it quits. Roll C. And members of wife. the Greek Orthodox Church. Ready camera three. Icy dive. Take three. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee, and it was icy out there this morning. This morning, folks, we had readings on Long Island that bottomed out well below zero in a few spots. Uh, some of the readings include a, a low of minus five at Yapank, uh, mm -hmm. minus five at Ridge, Long Island. Yeah. Uh, Box, right please, on Chris. A little bit warmer readings were in the uh, single numbers, the low single numbers. Off. But we're having a warm up. Uh, there it is, East Northport at minus one, minus one at Massapequa. Ready, camera three. Three for Noyak. Take three. Uh, on the way to the low 30s today and maybe even 40 tomorrow. We'll have details on that in the forecast. Ready, two bucks. Take it. All right, thank you, Joe. Insert. Our top Stand by on A voiceover. Who's Kyra? Roll A. Ray A voiceover. Matthew Sullivan has kept quiet Take since it. the Huntington newlywed was discovered. Insert. He was stuffed in the trash bag and left by the side of Pulaski Road Loser. in Huntington. Third. Tuesday reports Sullivan's frustration with both the media and anonymous One callers to his home. According to the Newsday report, Sullivan says the callers accused him of the murder. He insists no one knows what went on. Turn up the audio in here and more. Solomon's father, Jack, told News 12 last week his son was Ready? One box. committing the murder and was distressed. Anyone would think he had. Take it. Nassau police continue their we'll investigation see. into Ready the death of a Rockville Center woman. Take it. 52-year-old Annie Stone yeah. was found last Thursday with her throat slashed. She was lying in her bathtub. In she was covered by a blanket and the note that read... Right, what what it? Read. Roll, Roll D. Ready D sound. Size. Take it. D sound. D sound. Stand by. As well as Insert. In contact with other uh, agencies throughout the state. Yes. Lose it. Going right to the phone number. Give me the phone number, please. Set the phone number. Beginning to become more concerned that something may have happened to him as well. The Zalvin Q. police are now asking anyone with information Ready to call the homicide squad. The telephone number is five three five. Seven, seven, eight, eight. Thank you. And County Stand Sheriff by on Joseph sound. Santa Croce is retiring because of bad health. The two-year county sheriff tells News 12's Lee Tyrell in this a. Ready a sound. that he's stepping down. Take it. I hurt myself on the job back in January. And I put in my paper. Was it? Just got too difficult to do a job that I was Okay. Doing. That's the second one. So I think it's time to get out. Santa Croce was appointed acting Insert. sheriff in August of 1985 after Sheriff Insert. Thomas Varellis died in office. Five months later, he was appointed to sheriff by then county executive Thank Francis you. Purcell. During his tenure as sheriff, Santa Croce was constantly right. plagued by the problem of inmate overcrowding here Turn at the back on a county two box. facility in East Meadow. Then going to a one straight up. At one point, Santa Croce uh, became personally responsible for. Let me go back a year and a half ago when Judge Mishler. Yeah, he can um, I need a... That I that's, the jail. that's fine right he there. He wouldn't be closing the jail, but I would have to if I went over a particular sum of inmates and he was going to find me $5,000 an inmate. And I think that was the toughest time in my life. To relieve the overcrowding, First video in the sheriff C, right? suggested okay. using the uninhabited 1,000-bed correctional facility on the grounds of Cleveland State Hospital in Brentwood as a bi-county correctional center. Uh, we need Carol's Santa Santa Cruz says Governor right. Cuomo's refusal to go along with this recommendation was his biggest disappointment. Just the other day, listening to his state of the state message where he states, um, with a, such a big budget of spending and turns around and does away with Brentwood, and I think... The problem yeah. here is that the right. people in Nassau and Suffolk are going to pay dearly for this. Instead, a newly constructed yeah, three-hour bed this? facility One. was opened on the grounds of the correctional center in November. 500 beds less than Santa Croce yeah. recommended were necessary to relieve the overcrowding. But despite the disappointments and the outside pressures, okay. Santa Croce says he enjoyed the job, and without a moment's hesitation, he can tell you the one thing he is most proud of. My name. Okay. Uh, Scott, what, what Chiron are you going to do for uh, Road Watch? The same one we do for sports? 
I mean, the overcrowding yeah, what are you gonna is do? tremendous, and these nice little toys. Okay. Very proud. Santa Croce's last day as sheriff will be this Thursday, January 14th. Tagging on two boxes, and, and he continues, continues reading for a bit in will most likely be Nassau Under Undersheriff Joseph Jablonski. Is lose the tag? For you Pete, you we're losing a tag on this story. I think so. Coming back on Bitten Dog and Bitten, and bitten Cop. But I miss it. I have a lot of good friends. Uh, exactly. Stand by, stand it out. Ready to box. Lee Tyrell, News 12, Long Island. Taking Q. And an off-duty New York City policeman is under arrest allegedly after biting an SR police officer in the hand. City patrolman Mario. Going to camera one, then to B voice over. Ready one. On the Nassau policeman. Now, when Officer Stephen Murray went to grab the gun, he was bitten on the hand. Murray was responding to a disturbance at Uncle Sam's, that's a Levittown dance club, when this incident took place. Mario de Figlia is charged with assault one. and reckless endangerment. Take one. A man is dead after... Roll B, ready B voiceover. Take it. Stand by on C. Right. We have a chiron for this? Insert. Spatz was taken to Good Samaritan Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Was it? The driver of the car was Roll not C. charged in last night's accident. Wipe. And a car fire on the Southern Insert. State Parkway in Unionville yeah. backed up westbound traffic for over five miles during this morning's Insert. rush. According to fire officials, Bonnie Burns was, was on her way to Westchester when her car stalled. Ready camera one. discovered her engine had caught fire. The Unionville Fire Department had trouble getting there, getting to her car because of traffic. For instance, when she pulled off to the shoulder, traffic began to back up. But not a person stuck your health. Take one. And News 12's weekly series, Roadwatch, brings you up to date with what's happened Roll on the roads last Roll. week. You have your car for this? Police report Why? 599 accidents this past week, no fatalities, 135 injuries, 43 people charged with driving while intoxicated. On Long Island State Roads, police report a total of 120 come back accidents, two no fatalities. 58 people were injured, though, and there were 69 You're following this, right, Scott? property damage last week. 20 people were charged with driving while intoxicated. Do we have the uh, question of the day? Yes. Okay, we do. Got speeding tickets. Just called Road Watch wants your help. If you encounter any problems on the road, please tell us about it. You can call us at 496 Ready to box. Take it. And about 150 Lilco customers didn't have power please? today. No, a faulty power line disrupted service power line Evelyn here. Drive, right off Plainview Road in Old Beth Page for about 90 minutes. But Lilco crews had a way to... Uh, Carol, the question of the day is in. ...fire at the fall line before they could make the necessary question repair, day which is they in. finally did, and the people Ready in the neighborhood got their power back on. Take one. All Music. Right. And uh, coming up, meteorologist Joe Chaffee right. says, well, it's about time we it's got a B-boy, right? Up high. And one is on the way. His complete weather forecast when we return. Absolutely. You know that T.S. Eliot line about April being the coolest month. Boy, January has Stand been by just on that said. And the economy has been on a roller coaster this past year as well. I don't have to tell you guys that. And we wanted to know what you expect from the economy in 1988. And here's what Long Island has to say. pull out. Off. And I would like it to, of course, go up Jerry. to have stocks and so forth right, that provide me with income. My name is Spencer, S. Nelson Benson. Uh, I, I think we're in for a research. My name is Data from Westbury. Stand by to fade. And, uh, Karen, I think it's going to do good. I got high hopes. Fade. Also, Jerry.